I'm Tim Allen. I'm the general manager at Leland L. Fisher Lumber Company here in Rockville, Maryland. Uh, we're one of the oldest ch chamber members. Um, as Fisher Lumber, we're going close to our 70, 75th year um, under the same ownership. Um, we do have a long history of helping out our community. Um, there's no shortage of people asking for help uh, in the community, and a lot of times that comes in the form of Boy Scouts, various uh, church schools, uh, most recently St. Raphael's, uh, also here in Rockville, who we helped out. Um, and I, a lot of times I just have the kids come in and they uh, have projects that they're working on. One of the, the most recent project I have, I wish I had a picture I could show you of, I actually do have a picture I could show you of a bridge oh, that uh, the kids at St. Raphael's, uh, this is the kids here, and in what was one of the neatest things I've ever have ha had happen is these kids came in and approached me and asked if we had any type of lumber or product that we could help donate or that we could donate to help them do their project. And I said, uh, I get so many kids coming in that I said, I'll be glad to do so, but what I would like from you is present this project to me. Show me what it is you wanna do and I will help you do it. And one of the reasons I did that is I, I feel like it helps these young kids develop a sense of responsibility and they're presenting a project to me. So in what was one of the neatest things I've ever seen, they came in, we scheduled a day, they came in, I set up a bunch of drywall buckets out on a loading dock and we all sat down, there was about 12, 15 of them and they each took turns presenting a portion of their project and they had literally made a small bridge and had a design and had the not just the paperwork but they actually built a small sample of what it is they were going to do and it was one of the neatest things and they presented in such a professional neat way and uh, so we donated everything we could to them to make that happen and uh, that is something that uh, we try to do with the local community. It happens a lot. Like I said, a lot of times it's the Boy Scouts. Most often it is um, Boy Scouts that are trying to get their Eagle Scout and they have a project that they're doing in the local community. And so what I try to do is help them out so that they can get their Eagle Scout badge. It's helping out the local community. It's helping them uh, mature and get to the point where they would like to be and need to be. One thing I don't do and, and I've had this happen is I had recently I had a young man come in he was an, going for his Eagle Scout and his uh, mom was telling me everything that needed to be done and I said let me stop you right there the whole point of this is for him to be learning and maturing and doing this and presenting this to me so that I can do something for him so I would like him to explain everything to me so I try to work closely with, with the young men and women that come in and have uh, a project and something that they would like to do. Um, and we do that and I try to do one project in the spring and one project in the fall. Uh, this year has been a little bit more difficult because of COVID and we haven't had people coming in like that. It's probably the first year in a long time that we haven't had people come in and want to do a project either in the spring or in the fall, but we always try to do that. That is one of the biggest ways that we try to give back to our local community. Uh, we've also given back, um, there's a number of breweries up along, uh, along the corridor here and one of the local breweries reached out to us um, and they were doing some specialty nights where they have uh, the local community come in and they, they have kind of neat things that they're doing and uh, projects that they actually build at the bar. So we contributed to that as well, one of the last things, and we're probably gonna be doing another one of those nights up at the local brewery. So we're constantly trying to reach out and be a part of the local community. Like I said, we're one of the older members. I was talking with the owner of the company, he was telling me, listen, if we're not the oldest member, we're in the top five oldest members of the Rockville Chamber because Leland Fisher, who uh, was alive and started this business many years ago, he, or actually took over this business many years ago, he was a part of the Rockville Chamber. And so we have been members since long before they even kept records of who were members. Uh, and we're, we've just in the past few years tried to get uh, much more active in the, in the local chamber to, to be a part of our community. Uh, one of the other things is, um, is the program that we have with the, uh, the pre-release center off of Nebel. 
We've hired, I would say, we're going on six or seven employees now that are uh, individuals who are transitioning from incarceration back into civilian life and we are trying to give them their first opportunity to do so and that has uh, been extremely successful. We've had uh, a number of individuals who actually have started their first job here at Fishers and have moved on to some bigger and better things and, uh, and we try to give them the opportunity to reintroduce themselves into the civilian world. We take a chance on them and we like to see them be successful and so far we've had nothing but success with the with that program and it's a way that we can give back to the local community and and help reintroduce them so um, we're always here trying to be a part of it trying to be a part of our local community and do everything and everything we can to, to do so <laughs>